Hi everyone, this is Manjuri Partners. So today I'm here at the Pink Villa office. So I thought I will show you guys a look you can try for Diwali this season. So my upcoming film is called Gina Isi Ka Naam Hai. So I was just thinking that this year for Diwali, I want to try recreating the look I have done in the film. So let's go for it. So yeah, so first step, um, I'm going to be using this cream-based foundation. So let me touch up my face with the base. Not too much makeup, okay? I think less of the better always. Like, you know, the more natural you are, the more beautiful you look. So please don't kick your cake up your face because a lot of people get that wrong when it comes to the base, right? So yeah, that's it for the base. And uh, now I'm going to do a little bit of compact. Um, mostly my under eyes tend to get a little shiny and my T-zone so I just make sure that's sorted I let my cheeks shine so you know that gives a natural glow to the face I normally don't put compact on my cheeks so you know my secret okay so now step 3 um, I'm going to highlight my lower lash line with a brown shadow, alright? So what this does is basically it gives my eyes a little more depth and definition. So now we've come to step 4. Um, for this, I'm basically going to put some eyeshadow on my eyelids. Um, I'm taking this brush and I have slightly dampened it. Slightly, please, huh? don't just dip it in water and just like use it and all that. Please don't do that. <laughs> You'll spoil your makeup. Just damp or maybe you could just um, uh, soak it in with the tissue paper or something. And use any color pigment which goes with your outfit that day that you're wearing. So I am taking this uh, really pretty uh, coral shade in my brush. And I'll just apply it on my eyelids. Okay, so what this does basically is nothing much, it doesn't do anything over the top, it just basically adds a little dash of glamour to your look. So yeah, I think we're done with the shadow. Next, I think we move on to the eyeliner, which is a little more difficult part. So now step 5, I'm using this uh, gel liner and I'm just going to apply it on my eyelids and then later smudge it out. Okay, so I'm finally done smudging my eyeliner and uh, so what it does is basically just makes my eyes look bigger and brighter. So now we come to step 6 which is my favourite step, it is the mascara. Um, so we just finish up eye makeup and mascara but just before I put it I would like to say one thing. Uh, why I love the mascara is basically normally right now I'm just giving you makeup tips and like you know putting all sorts of makeup and everything but in real life, normally when I go out, I, I don't wear any makeup. The only thing I use is mascara and a lip balm. I think it just is perfect when you're just going for an everyday thing. So here you go. There you go. We finished the eye makeup finally. Okay, so now we are almost close to finishing up. Um, so the second last step would be the blush on. So I'll be using this color for myself, coral, which is my favorite. And uh, just highlight your cheekbones. That's it. Done. Okay, we have only one more step left, which is the lipstick, but before that, so one quick tip for people who've got rounded faces like mine, I have a round face, so um, to make my face look a little more chiseled and longer, so what I do is basically I contour my face, um, so for that you just have to use a little bit of a, a brown shadow or like, you know, brown compact or something, and you just have to highlight your uh, jawline here, and, um, and just under your cheekbones. 
so you just highlight it a little bit like at this angle so that kind of gives it a little chiseled and longer look to your face so I can't believe I'm actually giving you makeup tips because I have to share this one story with you um, so when I was new in the industry um, like my first ever audition I had gone for and you know I was just out of my 12th grade I did not know anything about makeup or anything I just knew what is base and what is a liner and what is a lipstick and that's it basic knowledge nothing else so for my first audition I did all full on makeup and all that and I thought I was looking really pretty and all that stuff and I went for the audition and everything I mean the first thing I was told to do they just asked me to just go to the washroom and just wash my face it was so bad I just caked up my face with it and I was looking like a white monkey like you know like my face was white my neck was not matched so um that was a nightmare of a thing for me but um, I'm so glad thanks to my makeup artist and all at least I can now manage looking normal when I do my makeup so anyway let's go on to the last step of um, makeup which is the lipstick so now I'm going to start with the lip liner and um, I will be using my favorite shade again coral it's called coral peach so I just um, outlined my lips with that I've smudged it after that. I'm sorry, I can't stop talking when I'm putting my lip line off. But I want to give you a tip after this. Okay, sorry. So I'm going to give you a tip right now, which I really want to share. Um, so, you know, sometimes some people have, uh, like for me, um, I have a smaller upper lip than a lower lip. So what I do is, I try to extend my upper lip slightly from the center out here. So it just kind of gives my lips a little fuller look. So for anyone who has the same problem. And now, the lipstick. Voila! Finished! So that's the end of the makeup tips for my end. So if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe to Pink Willa.